Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video we're going through and reviewing my tips for round 7 as well as going through my tips for round 8. Um, so in the end on round 7 I did get 6 tips, uh, 43 total tips and an overall rank now in the AFL um, tipping one of 95,000. I don't know what the ESPN one was. ESPN uh, 40 tips. Let me just type this up here quickly. Um, but yeah, it wasn't the greatest round for me. I did hold with the West Coast tip because I thought, why not hold with it? Um, rather than, uh, deciding to, oh man, what's this? Um, let me just quickly get logged into this. I had to clear all my cache and that's why, um, everything is taking a little while. Um, but yeah, I'm on, what is my rank here? Enter tips. Let's just see, uh, round seven. Uh, rank of 280k for ESPN, so that's like top 33% or something like that, as I think there's about 850k tippers. Um, yeah, 6 out of 9, top 33%, so yeah, not the greatest, I don't believe, yeah. 280k out of 857, so yeah, not the greatest, but anyway, before we get into the video, remember to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you know when I upload, and let's get into this video. So, um, first tip of last round was the Melbourne vs Richmond game. Melbourne by 27, I tipped. They won by 43. I was 16 points off. Pretty good tip there. Uh, Melbourne pretty much dominated that game. I'm pretty sure that they kick, they might have kicked a couple late as well to get the margin over what I had. Um, I got the tip right in the draw on Anzac Day, even though it was a draw. Um, I had Collingwood by 32. Essendon slightly surprised me there. Um, they're pretty good, Essendon. Um, that's that... Uh, that uh, uh, season tips isn't going to go well with that Essendon one. Oh, that was a bad one. Um... But yeah, I, every time I tip a team that uh, make finals, that uh, don't that I tip them down that pointy end of the ladder, they seem to go really well in finals. So then maybe that's a good thing for us in fans. Um, GWS over Brisbane. I thought Brisbane give more of a fight, but they looked pathetic after halftime. It was fifty two forty four at half, and then in the second half it was sixty one to fourteen. So it just showed the difference in the second half. As I had GWS by eleven, and they ended up winning by sixty. 54 points, sorry, and that's a gap of 43. Um, Port over St. Kilda had Port by 26. I believe they're up by 26. St. Kilda put on a late charge, I believe. Um, so yeah, Port won by 10 points in the end, so 16 points off with the margin there. Then comes to my bad day on Saturday. Um, North over Adelaide, I had Adelaide by 45. They ended up winning by 53, so I was... Eight points off there. Pretty good tip there, to be honest with you. Especially with these tips of North Melbourne and West Coast, they can be very, very off given that they are very hit or miss. Geelong versus Carlton. I had Carlton by 13 and Geelong won by 13. So I was just if I just tipped the other way, it would have been spot on. Uh, that was a really good game. And I thought Carlton could have actually stolen it late, but then Jeremy Cameron uh, went and did his Jeremy Cameron-esque things and they won in the end Geelong by 13. Frio against Western Bulldogs. Frio won by 24. I had uh, Western Bulldogs by 21, so that was off by 45 points, one of my worst tips. Um, then I have West Coast Eagles by 13 over Gold Coast. Um, I just stuck with it because this was before, I did that video before the Harley Reid news, and then we learned about 45 minutes later that Harley Reid was out, and I just went, stuff it. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick true with my tip of West Coast, and they lost, so they're not the Eagles for this week. Um, but yeah, they put up a really good fight, and it's positive signs for the West Coast. I, I, I think that they're going to finish, I think they could finish 15th or 14th, to be honest with you, which would be a massive step forward for West Coast. They still get a good draft pick, they get that winning, winning culture, as uh, North Melbourne would put it, and um, yeah, I, I, I genuinely think there are steps forward, and you can see the way that um, West Coast are going to play. They're going to, they got Elliot Yo, they got um, Harley Reid. Chimby hopefully can um, project forward in the next little bit. Oscar Allen coming back. Um, they also have Waterman who looks on fire and honestly probably at this moment should and rightfully should be all Australian at this moment. Um, and then they got Liam Duggan off the half back line and he's doing pretty well as well. So, and then we go to the last game of the round and you had Hawks versus Sydney and I went Sydney by 34 and they ended up smoking them by uh, 76. So that was a yeah, pretty good uh, game to just sort of round out the round. And yeah, really happy that the boys got the job done pretty convincingly. The game was over at halftime. Round eight, let's move on quickly here. 
Adelaide versus Port. I'm going to go Adelaide um, here, or am I going to go Port? Um, Port have still got um, Connor Rose. He passed the fitness test. Adelaide got them. Hmm, this one's going to be tight. Like, you can go on form. You can do this. You can do that. But I, I think Adelaide actually are going to win this game. I'm going to go against the grain here and go Adelaide by 10 points in a basic boil over. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go Adelaide by 10 over Port, which will be surprising if that actually does occur, but if that does, then huge. Carlton against Collingwood. Carlton probably our favourites, I would say, given that Collingwood's midfield are depleted at the moment, so I'm going to go Carlton by 15 points. Um, I do think that these are massive rivals. We have three derbies to start the round, and probably, honestly, the three biggest derbies of the whole year. The um, and then you also have the Q. Is there the Q clash this week as well? You got is this just they should just be renamed Derby Week as simple as that. You got Adelaide Port, you got Carlton Collingwood, you got Sydney GWS, you've also got um, Gold Coast versus Brisbane. If only they had West Coast versus Frio this week, and you'd have five derbies in a week, and then you could almost do the Tassie Derby of uh, of Hawthorne and North Melbourne. You could just do Derby Week, the whole <laughs> every interstate club is playing their rival. Um, you have the biggest Melbourne derby. You also have like a North Melbourne versus Hawthorne, and then I don't know who Richmond would play or whatever. But you'd have every derby this week. That would be that would be a co- better invention of a round, to be honest. Um, so yeah, Carlton by fifteen. Then you have Swans against yeah the GWS, and what a game this should be. It's going to be slightly wet, which should actually favour GWS. Um, GWS and the SCG are pretty actually good. I think they've won like the last two there, so that does kind of suck um yeah i believe that they won we had, last year gws won at the scg and sydney won at um in whatever that uh, whatever their stadium gws is called um part of me is just gonna go with the swans just because they're my side and i'm gonna go swans by i think this will be an absolute thriller i'm gonna go swans by seven points um just crazy that is it, it's going to be close and i think it could be really high scoring st kilda against north i think st kilda bounced back um they've been absolutely pathetic so i'm going to go st kilda by i think 48 points um even though st kilda don't score that much i think they romp it down on um on uh north melbourne this week uh then you got melbourne against geelong um geelong don't have paddy dangerfield Melbourne surely have Oliver back slightly more to his best. Uh, Petrarca, uh, Viney hopefully returns back to his best, but they're going to smash the rough matchup. So I'm actually going to go against the grain again and go Melbourne by 13 points. I really do love the way that um, that Geelong is playing, but I think Paddy Danefield is a huge miss, and I think that that rough matchup that they're going to get the advantage of is going to be so crucial to the outcome. Then you got Essendon against West Coast. I'm going to pick Essendon here. I think they beat West Coast. Um, I think this one will be a tight one, as it's at Optus Stadium. I'm going to pick Essendon by 17 points. I just think that their scoring potential is really big. Yes, they will concede, but um, we'll see. I think Harley Reid could actually do well against Essendon, but um, yeah, I I just don't see um, Eagles winning this one at the moment with the way Essendon's playing, but I'll happily be wrong. Uh, Richmond against Fremantle. I'm going to go Fremantle. Richmond's midfield might be the worst in the AFL at the moment. And Frio might be, honestly, the best midfield at the moment. So I'm going to go with Frio against Richmond. Frio by uh, 15 points. Then you have Marvel Stadium Western Bulldogs versus Hawthorne. Hawthorne have looked pathetic. I'm going to go Western Bulldogs by 57 points. Honestly, I think they will smoke Hawthorne as Hawthorne have been really really poor and even though Hawthorne have Will Day returning I think that that midfield of Bont, Libba, Trelaw with English in the ruck is huge and I think Hugo Hagen might even be returning for Western Bulldogs I don't know exactly though as we don't have teams yet then you have Brisbane against Gold Coast I'm projecting Brisbane to win that at the Gabba I think that they just don't go 0-4 at the Gabba it's going to become a massive tussle of a game and I just feel like um Brisbane have Oscar McInerney back, I'm led to believe. So um, let me just double check that. Uh, Brisbane Lions injury list. Um, injury list. Let's see. Updated the 30th. Um, no no uh, Oscar McInerney, which is good. Um, and I think that could become crucial as Wits really took apart 
um, the uh, West Coast Rucks in the last game, and that was part of the reason why they won. So I'm going to go Brisbane by another tight one, 13 points in the Derby. So the Derbies have, the, what, four games that are really um, derbies or derbies, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm pr- pr- saying that they're going to combine for a gap of a margin of 45 points. But anyway, that is basically the videos there uh, for the day. And hopefully they all get uploaded in a timely manner. But that's the videos. And I guess I will see you guys in the game recaps that start tomorrow. So I, I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.